Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import powerful collections of super tags and fields right into your Tana workspace. This is going to save you lots of time and it will also make experimenting with Tana much easier and more fun. Getting started with Tana is super easy. You don't need a PhD for it. But the more powerful you want your workflows to be, the more time you'll spend setting them up. And of course, sometimes it can just take a little while to figure out how to model a certain workflow um, that you want to have uh, in your Tana workspace. That's why Jens Christian Fischer, Feiling Tseng and a couple of others early testers got together and set up a workspace that makes it easy to share workflows and super tags and fields with each other. And as it turns out, it's actually super easy to share these with everyone and that includes you. So in this video, I'm going to show you why you would want to copy super tags and fields and collections of them into your own workspace. I'm going to show you step by step how to set that up. And at the end, I'm also going to show you how to set up sharing your own templates with the community. Now, why would you want to copy other people's super tag and field setups? In my video on interstitial journaling plus, which I'm going to link above, I have a setup of two super tags with 15 different fields to keep me focused and productive in my work. And a bunch of people have gotten great benefits from, from using that. The feedback has been great, but copying those two super tags with the different fields and field configurations takes a lot of time, right? You have to pay super close attention to the video and like follow every step that I take to set it up. And that's just tedious and takes a lot of time. So if you wanted to try that workflow, wouldn't it be great if there was a way to just import all the setup that I've already done, get it into your workspace and then just experiment with it and play with it. And luckily that's possible. Tana already provides us a way of doing that. So let's jump in and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to copy in workflows consisting of super tags and field definitions and all that using Tana. So this is the Tana pattern library workspace, what you see here on the screen. And to get everything contained in it or parts of it into your own workspace, it's really simple. What you do is you right click here on the title and you click link to node or you just copy in the link from wherever you might be getting it. And then you switch into your own workspace like we have here today, Sunday. And all I'm going to do is hit command V um, and it's going to paste this link and turn it into just a normal reference like you would have if you did this from anywhere else in your workspace. And now what you can do, you can browse the Tana pattern library and see everything that's in here. It's well documented. Uh, Jens Christian did a great job um, of doing this. And you can also look at the different patterns that are here, right? And so this is the micro nano cycles uh, workflow that I talked about just a second ago. And if I want to use this workflow, what I do is I focus in here uh, with my cursor, I have command C, and then I can go anywhere in my own workspace, I hit command V. And you see this turns it into just a normal reference, right? This is referencing this from the Tana pattern library workspace. If I want to actually have it in my workspace, all I need to do is focus in it with my cursor, click command K and then clone reference, right? And now you see this is actually, there's no more um, uh, dotted outline around the bullet. This is now contained in my graph. 
right? And now I can use everything that's in here. And what's great about the Tana pattern library is that you have everything in one place. So this pattern here, my uh, micro and nanocycle pattern, consists of two super tags. And these live in this field under um, this particular pattern. Now, if I can click on this, you see, okay, these are the fields that are actually um, coming with that particular super tag. And now I can actually use this um, in my graph anywhere I want, right? So if I want to run a microcycle, now I do um, microcycle and you see TPL um, microcycle. I click this and it runs it just as it would any other super tag that you might be using. So this is super convenient. What you can do, of course, is because now it lives in your own workspace, is you can uh, rename this, right? So I'm going to rename this demo microcycle and TPL nanocycle is now demo nanocycle. And if I want to use these right now, demo microcycle, boom, there we go. Uh, it's now running here as it was before. So this means you can copy patterns in and use them then as if you created them, right? You can edit and do whatever you want. Um, that just um, is up to you. You can rename, you can change the fields, how the fields are set up. You can experiment to your heart's content without fear of destroying anything because if it's broken, you can delete it and just simply start again, but you're still saving a ton of time. Speaking of deleting, how does that work? So let's say that I've done a couple of things that I don't uh, want in this pattern, or I tested the pattern and uh, I just don't like it, don't want it anymore. All I need to do is I right click and do delete node. So let me show you that this actually works. Um, we have two tags here, demo microcycle and demo nanocycle, right? As I showed you previously, I can use these demo microcycle, demo nanocycle, very easy. Now, if I just delete this node here, right? I click delete node and boom, they're gone. If I now do demo nano, doesn't show up anymore, right? Um, so that means you can experiment, you can do whatever you want, um, and if you don't like it, just delete it. Important to know, of course, is that this means that you don't get automatic updates or whatever, right? So if I fix a problem that might be in that super tag setup that I have, that's not going to show up in your graph. You did like a hard copy of the pattern at the point in time where you copied it, right? So it's it's not auto updating. Um, if I release a V2, V3, then you will need to have to um, copy these into your own graph um, time and time again. So it's not auto updating, but I think um, this way is you can always be sure what you have in your graph lives in your graph and you have full control over it. Let's also look a little bit into how these patterns are actually um, set up for, for sharing. So um, just picking a different one, let's take Evergreen Notes by, by Maggie. Um, and if you expand this, you see we have different fields that document this workflow, right? We have a description, what does this actually do? We have instructions on how to use it. And then we have a whole collection of super tags that belong to that particular workflow, right? For Maggie's workflow, we have evergreen nodes, we have sources, claims, um, uh, the forest is a collection of evergreens, and then we have questions, year, person, publication, right? Um, and then we have example searches. Um, this doesn't do anything um, right now uh, because we're in the Tana pattern library, and then we have related patterns, um, all, all that stuff. But this way you have everything in one place, right? You have the description, 
how to use it and all the super tags that belong to a certain pattern or workflow in one place very well documented and as I mentioned if you copy it into your workspace you can edit this to your heart's content. This is great but how do you share your own patterns with the community with co-workers or whoever you want? How do you make that happen? This is also not very complicated. What you need to do first is create a new workspace. Make that workspace read only for the world basically and then you document your patterns in there and then you can share links to those patterns individually or the whole workspace. So let's do that now and I'm going to show you how you can share your own patterns with the community. Let's go. So what we need to do first is we need to create a new workspace. We do this by going down here in the bottom left in the sidebar and I'm going to click that plus button and then create a new workspace. I'm going to call this Cortex Futura. Uh, let's just call it patterns. And now we create this workspace. It's going to take a little bit to load and create that workspace. And now we're here, right? This is a brand new workspace. You see it here in the sidebar Cortex Futura patterns. Now focusing my cursor into the title of that workspace, I'm going to hit Command K and then type publish read only Cortex Futura patterns, right? Hit enter and that's going to make it read only and publish it to the world. Anyone with the link can now see everything that is inside this workspace. All right, so now that we're here, I can start building a template in this workspace that I can then share with others. So let's do that now. What I want to share is a setup for a journal entry, for example. So I'm going to type journal entry and under this journal entry, I'm going to create fields like what this is about, um, how to use it, and then the super tags necessary for it. So create about. This is a workflow for writing simple journal entries. And the way that you use this is that on any date node, um, you can add this tag to a random node and it's going to create a journal entry. And now here in the super tag field, I'm going to put all the super tags necessary for this workflow. In this one, it's just one, right? So that's very easy. Um, let me show you how to um, use it. Into this field, I'm going to put all the super tags that I use for this workflow. In this workflow, that is just one super tag. And I'm going to show you how to set it up in a way that makes it possible to share this with anyone. First, we create the super tag for journal entry. Journal entry. I'm going to make this a super tag by hitting Command K, create super tag. And you see this now has made this a super tag, right? You see here, this is the hash mark and you have that dotted outline. The dotted outline shows you that this super tag now lives in the schema, right? If I go to schema here, you see here is a journal entry. The way that sharing patterns works is that everything is shared that lives actually is placed under the thing that you're sharing, right? So it doesn't work across um, different nodes and places in the graph. So what we need to do is we need to bring journal entry into the super tags field. It has to be a direct child, not just a reference, right? This is a reference because it's, it has a dotted outline, but it has to be a direct child um, of the super tag field and the journal entry workflow that we want to share. And so what we do is we focus into the journal entry node here, the reference. We hit command K again, and then we write bring referenced node here. And this removes the dotted outline. And now the journal entry node that is a hashtag lives 
here directly as a child of journal entry and super tags. You can see this if I click here. Um, it lives here not in the schema. The, the path up here is doesn't show schema, but it lives directly here. Now I can create fields here. So one thing I want to do is date from ancestor day node. I want this here. Then entry time is something I want. And then a simple prompt what's going on, right? Just for example's sake, I'm going to make this, I don't know, a nice blue. And then in the advanced setup, what I like to do is build the title from fields. And then here, sys date from day node, that's going to reference the ancestor uh, day node. And then entry time is going to reference this entry time field. Simple setup just for demonstration sake. And if we now go back, you see here, a journal entry, and this super tag now lives as a part of the journal entry tag. Now there's two ways to share your workflows with the community or individuals you want to share them with. The first one is what we saw with a Tana pattern library. You share the whole library um, and everyone you share the link with can see everything that is inside that particular workspace that you created. The other way is to share links to individual patterns. So let's walk through that really quickly. So the first way was sharing the whole workspace, right? What we have with the pattern library. So we go in here, command K, um, get link to node. And then if I go to my uh, today page, and I copy this in here, you see Cortex Futura patterns, and the journal entry. And now I can do the workflow that I showed at the start of the video. But we can also just share links to individual workflows and nodes, right? And this works by going here. And I say, Okay, I just want to share the journal entry workflow with someone. And so what I do is again, copy, get link to node. And then if you go into your workspace, or I go into mine here, and I paste this, I have just the reference to the journal entry workflow. And now what I can do is I do what we talked about before I do clone reference. And now I have just that particular workflow from the Cortex Futura patterns workspace in my own workspace here. And just to demo this to you, I can rename the journal entry demo super tag, I can use it here. Journal entry demo, that works very easily, right? And here you see how that's going to work, it's going to create a journal entry with the date from the ancestor node. So from today, I can do entry time, let's pick 10am. And then I can start journaling here. And even though I've renamed the super tag here, because this is brought into my own workspace, if I go back here, this still has a journal entry without the demo. So that's how you share individual workflows with people just by sharing a link to um, that particular workflow. And so if you like this video, and you want to try this out, I'm going to link you the video on the interstitial journaling plus workflow and the super tags, um, you will have access to through a link below this video. But I'm also going to put a link below the original video. And then you can use this try it out yourself and copy cool patterns, try them out into your own workspace and use them there. Have fun and talk to you soon. Bye bye.